In 1942, a rocket launched. A rocket that will reach space in a modified version. Now, 75 years later, we've made a lot of progress, yet unable to fight our self-made problem of space debris, which threatens spaceflight itself by destroying or damaging our spacecrafts. This problem is even important enough to get featured in recent Hollywood films. And that's where we come into play. We will explore the possibilities of robotic systems for in-orbit analysis of cover hulls, put short, Roach. Roach consists of two parts, an elevator for safe transportation and a rover for extravehicular navigation. One important part is the elevator. The elevator is complex, but it perfectly serves the purpose of a compact garage for our rover. Other solutions, like a ramp, would be way too big to actually fit into a satellite. That's why we chose a small and compact build factor. The key and main part of Roach is the rover. You might think a rover is an odd design choice for this task, as it's unable to climb obstacles. This in theory is true, but a system capable of passing obstacles would be a lot more complex and therefore more likely to fail. The rover itself consists of six main parts, held together by a 3D printed case. The microcontroller is connected to three different sensors. A distance sensor, checking if the rover is still in contact with the surface or floating in space. An eddy current sensor, detecting irregularities on the ground. And the camera, which does what every camera should do. The rover is attached to the surface using electric adhesion pads and is secured by a cable, which as well has the task to transfer data as well as securing the rover so it does not float away. The last question remaining is, how are we getting to space in order to test our systems? If you want to find out more about our ticket to space, watch our next video. To follow the Roach project or our other missions, you can subscribe to this channel or our other social media pages.